We begin in the United States, where Donald Trump is facing massive backlash for saying the U.S. military should be used against his political rivals on Election Day. In a television interview on Sunday, Donald Trump said, and I quote, I think the bigger problem is the people from within. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. I think it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military, end quote. The former president was talking about Democrats and people who have opposed or investigated him in the past. He also singled out and called out California Congressman Adam Schiff, one of the enemies from within. Democratic Congressman Schiff, who is now running for Senate, led the first impeachment in 2019 against Donald Trump over abuse of power allegations. Donald Trump even went on to describe his adversaries as more dangerous than America's foreign enemies like China and Russia. Now responding to Donald Trump's contentious remarks, Vice President Kamala Harris expressed her anger and argued that his comments should alarm every American citizen. You heard his words coming from him. He's talking about the enemy within Pennsylvania. He's talking about the enemy within our country, Pennsylvania. He's talking about that he considers anyone who doesn't support him or who will not bend to his will an enemy of our country. It's a serious issue. He's saying, he is saying that he would use the military to go after them. Think about this. And, and, and we know who he would target. And we know who, who he would target because he has attacked them before. The vice president further labeled her Republican rival as unstable and unhinged, whose reelection would bring brutal consequences. Donald Trump, I think in our collective opinion, certainly mine, is, is, is an unserious man. But the consequences of him ever being president again are brutally serious. Brutally serious. However, Donald Trump has downplayed any threat from MAGA supporters on November 5th. It is known that his supporters stormed Capitol Hill in 2021 in an attempt to overturn his 2020 election loss to President Joe Biden. Donald Trump denies that he incited the riots or interfered in the election process. But Democrats and many conservatives believe his violent rhetoric poses a threat to the upcoming presidential election and American democracy. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. election explained every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.